My home went from chaos to clean with the help of the Fly Lady system. Here are the five tidy things that I do to help keep it that way more than seven years later. And be sure you don't miss number four because it is my secret weapon to keep my home tidy at all times. Whenever I enter a room, I make sure to leave with the very things I came in with, whether it be a cup, a pen, or a snack. This helps to prevent messes from getting started because you put things back before they get overwhelming. Before, I would enter the room with something and leave it there until it was super overwhelming and I could no longer see my floors. But now, I make sure to leave with every single thing that I came in. It only takes a couple of seconds to make a drastic difference. Clutter begets clutter. So being sure to do this right away is the number one tidy habit that you can follow to keep your home looking spotless always. If it's already too late and your room looks like mine used to, then still leave with the things that you came in with so it doesn't get worse. And stay tuned for number three because that one will tell you exactly what to do to help remedy this. Next thing I do to keep a tidy home is I make the room sparkle. And what I mean by this is that every time I enter a room, I find one to three things that I can do to make the room look better than before I entered it. And this only takes a couple of seconds and it doesn't even matter if it was you that did the thing or not. If somebody put a book back in a bookshelf and it's a little bit out of place, then it will only take us like two seconds to fix it and it will help to make the room sparkle. If ever you go into a room and there's absolutely nothing that you can do to help make it better, then take a little dance break and pat yourself on the back because that is a super huge victory. If you do this every single time when you enter a room, it will soon become a habit and your home will always look put together no matter what. If ever there is clutter or disorganization in a room, then I do the five minute room rescue. And when I first started this, I couldn't even see my floors. This helps so much to get your home tidy and organized. You have two options here. Either pick your messiest room or the room you spend the most time in and start a five minute timer. But wait, before you start the timer, make sure you grab a bag of box and a basket because instead of running away and putting things that don't belong in the room where they do belong, we're going to go ahead and put it in a basket so that we can race against the clock and not waste any time. And if you find any trash, be sure to put it in the trash bag and anything that you don't absolutely want, put it in the donation bin. After you have your bag, your box, and your basket, be sure that you start your five minute timer. And we're going to start from the door of the room or the entranceway. Working in a clockwise manner, we are going to continue to tackle each item that our hand touches for five minutes, putting each item in the appropriate basket. Do not skip anything. Work clockwise from every single item. Before you know it, you will make a significant Dead. Feel free to do this every day for five to 15 minutes for a couple of times a week to see drastic results. If you're having a bit of trouble of figuring out if you want something or not, and it's perhaps in a maybe pal, then donate it. Because if it's not an absolute yes, then it's an absolute no. Go and help bless somebody who absolutely would love to have that item. And not to mention, this helps to reduce the clutter in your home. So win-win. Five minutes a day will make a drastic difference before your very eyes. Do this a couple of times a week to get that room looking spotless. When I first started this method, five minutes didn't really look like it did anything because I had so much stuff in the room. But after a couple of days, I can begin to see a difference. And now five minutes gets me all over the living spaces and maybe even into our bedrooms, depending how fast I'm moving. But since I do have littles, the messes happen multiple times a day. So these days I do three five minute room rescue, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. And yes, my children do help and they love it. So if you wanna see an even bigger impact faster, then feel free to do three room rescues in a day. Just be sure you space them out so you don't burn yourself out. And practicing this tip along with the two other ones I mentioned before will help to make sure it continues to stay that way. If you want a total game changer and you want your home to always look tidy no matter what, then be sure to listen up because I'm going to tell you something that has completely transformed my home and I never have to do a deep tidy ever as long as I follow this one thing. That thing is put away and not down. Be sure that you are always putting things away and not down and handling things only once. If you have your keys in your hand, don't place them down, put them away. If you're taking off your shoes, put them away, not down. Children's toys, cups, anything that you are handling it, only handle it once, put it away and not 
down. This has transformed my home entirely. It never ever gets out of control because I'm putting everything away. Be sure to implement this as a house rule and for the next week, seriously do it and come back at the end of the week and let me know in the comments down below what a huge and drastic difference this has made. And if you want to see an even bigger difference, then be sure to declutter. Decluttering has a huge impact in the tidiness of our home. And if you have no idea then how to start decluttering, then check out this video here for a strategy that will blow your mind. And I'll see you there right now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, to God be the glory. Bye.